When using PowerPoint in the lecture theater in Windows 10, when you go and open your presentation and click to run the slideshow, then by default, the screen you'll see on your screen, the slides, as will the students. However, before you run your presentation, if you press Windows and the P buttons together, it will allow you to choose the Extend the Desktop option. What this means is that when you go to run your presentation from your desktop in the classroom and you click on it, it will show you uh, this screen instead of the actual slide itself. The students see the slide on the screen or screens in the lecture theatre, uh, but you get this better interface. You see the slide that the students see. On the right hand side you see the next slide that's coming up, plus you see your notes for this slide any notes that you have uh, added within PowerPoint. Going over here, you still have, you also have the full uh, tools for drawing on the screen, so you can pick up the highlighter and you can highlight parts of the screen and that will appear for students. You can pick uh, the laser pointer and this will uh, then, you can point to things on the slide and this will appear as a pointer on the screens for students to see. You can choose the pen tool and you can use the pen tool to draw on the screen and you can also use your finger in the new lecture theatre on the touch screens to uh, draw on the screen as well. A nice feature as well is that you can click on to see all your slides in your presentation. Students don't see this, they're still looking at the first slide that's visible but then you can choose for example another slide and then that appears for students on the screen. You can use the zoom feature if you want to highlight a particular area. So say we wanted to highlight, say, Desmos, we can click on it and now the students see that highlighted for them. And continue on uh, with the presentation. Going to the next slide, the next slide, and so on. So this is, I think, a very useful feature 